Okay, this... I, okay, I will say with, with the modern era, I am kind of conflicted with this one because um, I don't mind the level choices here, but um, again, it's like we have two city levels right away and, and then we have another greenery base stage, but... Um, I'm a little bit more okay with the with this selection than the Dreamcast era because Crisis City, while it is technically a city level, um, I feel like it's you're kind of missing the point if you just label it as that and nothing else because it's like a fire, a city like on fire, like the like an end of the world kind of setting like this is you don't really see this kind of setting in a lot of games, so. Like, a city based on fire is a really cool set piece, and Crisis City is a really cool level from 06, so I do agree with the choice here. Um, I I don't really think there's a level in 06 that has as cool of a set piece as, or cool as a, as cool of a uh, gimmick as uh, Crisis City does, so I definitely have no problems with this being the stage choice here. Um... I guess other choices would be, like, Kingdom Valley, I guess, which would have been cool, but, um, I definitely don't think that that stage is anywhere near as cool as Crisis City is, so, yeah, I, I mean, you also get the Iblis Worms, the, like, the Iblis Worms and the Moltres Birds, I don't know what they're actually called, um, and, like, all that other stuff, and it's... Like, Crisis City is like the most 06 level you could pick from the game, so, yeah. If that makes any sense. It's the most iconic level from that game, I feel. Oh, I mean, again, it's either this or Kingdom Valley, so. And also the music, dude. <laughs> so, both remixes, classic and modern, are some of the best tracks in this game. Or best remixes, rather. Um, and I, yeah, I definitely... In terms of the music, I definitely prefer the remixes compared to the, orig the original 06 track. Although, that being said, um, I actually prefer the original's level design. Um, more so with, like, Project 06. Like, um, the original game, like, playing through this, is it's not very fun because uh, 06 just isn't very fun to play. But going through Project 06, it really um, shows like, how good the level design is, and Crisis City is definitely one of the, one of the most, uh, fun levels in, in that game, I, I'd say. But, this is fine, I, I, I do still really like the levels here. Uh, I do think I like classic Crisis City more, though. Um, I will say that. And, this is a, <laughs> this little section here with all these, like, um, whatchamacallit, like, stomp, Okay, uh, stomping on the, on those platforms with the lava rising. Yeah, that's an instance of the game just chugging tremendously. So, yeah, it really doesn't like that section. But yeah, this is a nice little remix of the tornado carrying a car. Instead of, like, running away from it, you're running towards it and it's chucking stuff right at you. So, it's a, it's a fun little quick step sequence at the end. <sighs> yeah, still really fun stage. I, I I like Crisis City quite a lot. Interesting place to get that. <laughs> and now we have the classic version. I guess it would have been interesting to see, like, the 06 mechs, but me. <laughs> I do think the Iblis enemies are, like, they're more, they're more unique enemies, so I, I do like that they chose, le chose a level that had those guys in it. Because you don't, you don't really see, like, these flaming birds and flaming worms and stuff every day in Sonic. Good. 
And God, this remix is so good. I don't even, again, I don't even want to talk, I just want to let it play out. <laughs> like, man. This is definitely one of my favorite themes in the game. But yeah, I, I, in general though, I do prefer this stage over the modern uh, variation, just because I feel like the level design here is just a lot more interesting. Well, there's more stuff going on, the platforming's more engaging in my opinion and uh, the music again it's just oh man you know what screw it i'm just gonna shut up for a second and let you listen to this uh, theme That is, I, it's so good, dude. I love it so much. But yeah. Alright, the end section here, which... I mean, we're coming up to it, but... They have a funny troll at the, at the end. I'm not even gonna bother with that red ring. But yeah, it's the end of the stage. Nope. <laughs> I love that. So, troll... Fooled you. So you gotta time this right, because that will kill you. Oh my god. Yeah, I do. I do like how how this level like makes the f f like giant fire tornado an, an actual obstacle. Because uh, in in O six, I get it's like I guess it. It, 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 like, what is it? I think it fl flings stuff at you in Shadow's level, um, but, yeah, other than that, it kind of, it's basically just a really annoying sequence in the max speed section, and, like, that's kind of it. Um, I mean, it doesn't do much here, but, uh, I do like it, how it's, like, an obstacle you need to, like, time yourself to avoid correctly and has like the uh, floating platforms like in 06's section Oh, we didn't get any of the red rings. Speaking of remixes that are also really good, this classic remix, oh baby, <laughs> this is one of my, uh, this is also one of my favorite tracks in the game. I love this so much. And one little, nice little uh, Easter egg is, um, once we start the level here, if you look in the background, you see... Okay, hold on. Let's get a better view of it. You see the... You see... Oh, I love that so much, dude. Um, I I get giddy over, like, the simplest things, but, like, I like... You can see the flags of all the different uh, countries in Unleashed. I love that so much. Uh, like, if there's one thing that Generations does really well, is, um... Is that it... it it, um, 
it's a nice tribute to just so many different eras of the series, and it doesn't favor it, it doesn't necessarily favor one part of the series over over another. I feel like each one gets like just the right amount of treatment and uh, um, and love and like I, I just love stuff like that, dude. Like just seeing all the different country flags, like and how I like how rooftop run here is. It feels like a celebration level, and I'm not saying that how in the sense of like generations is like the anniversary title, but I mean like with all this confetti going around and all this. Uh, fancy stuff going on like it feels like the it feels like this um this country is like celebrate is like celebrating something um and it, it especially feels like that with the music of how like just upbeat and happy it feels and yeah I, I just love it so much it's an interesting rendition of the rooftop run theme and it just works really well also like this little like um, what you call this, like, uh, cellar section, I, w I guess, um, that's, like, more in line with, like, the night stages of, uh, Rooftop Run, which is really cool. I guess with Classic Sonic being the, the counterpart in this game, it makes sense for him to get the, like, a Werehog <laughs> section. I mean, he also gets, like, another Werehog section later on. Just casually, like, toss this barrel. Or push it, rather. Woo! But yeah, th this is a very, very strong set of levels. Both, like, roof Rooftop Run and Crisis City are both some of the best levels in this game. Like, you can't go wrong with these. Unless you fail, like, making a jump. But yeah, you know how Unleashed had the, in the Werehog stage, it had like a, cl a clock tower section? Um, well, this is basically a remixed version of that. Um, instead of being inside the clock tower, you're like, outs like outside the, like the, outs you're on the outsides of it. And then you go onto the, the, the hands like an, un like an Unleashed. And, uh, man, again, it's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> can't, you can't help but like love this stuff, man. Damn it. <laughs> That's fine. Um, like, just remixing set pieces that you knew from older games and uh, changing, them, changing them up to uh, either throw you off guard or just be a cool, fresh experience. And the... Egg, la the laser robots from Unleashed as well. But yeah, solid stuff all around. Oh, nice, we've got... it doesn't matter. Okay. And now for the modern stage. Man, just as, as... Like... As someone who loves Unleashed so much, it's just... I... Th this level just makes me so happy, dude. God, this remix is god tier. I love it. Man, <laughs> I I love this. Okay, yeah, <laughs> and then you should go up here. If I can 
jump. <laughs> nice slow hidden pathway. I will say this, I don't like this level as much as the version on Unleashed, but this is still very good. Okay, I don't even want to talk, dude, I just want to listen to the music. <laughs> It is like, they try to make it more dangerous than in Unleashed because this is like near the end of the game as opposed to like the middle, but uh, I still don't think this is, I, I don't think this is as hard as it, as it is un, in Unleashed because, I mean again, Unleashed is still like a much harder game in general than Gens, but they try to add like more, act, like uh, guillotines and spikes and whatnot compared to the original stage so they they tried but it's still not as hard as unleashed and I, I love this part of the song and of course you have to have the quick step section because it's like iconic Good. But yeah, the, the both versions of the stage, both this and uh, Unleashed, just it, it just perfectly perfectly encapsulates Sonic's character. It's just like be, basically just being feeling free like the wind and just blazing through a city and just having a good time. It just feels so perfect for like Sonic with Sonic's character in general like especially with like the music as well like like th this level like any form rooftop run takes is just perfect <laughs> like this is the one of the most iconic and memorable stages in all of Sonic history and there's a damn good reason for that now I, I there are like if you didn't have to pick Rooftop Run, um, I there's a couple of stages like Cool Edge, um, Dra uh, Dragon Road, Jungle Joyride. Like there's so like Unleashed has so many like awesome like amazing stages that you really could pick any of them and I'd be fine with it. <laughs> Okay, and now this is uh, one I feel a lot more mixed on. Like I'm fine with uh, Crisis City and uh, Rooftop Run, but Planet Wisp is a bit of a questionable choice. I mean, the choice I guess the choice is fine because like it's the level in colors where um, it, it's it felt like a C. Sonic CD stage in the sense that you actually got to see what would happen, like what would happen when Eggman like took over and all that, which is very Sonic CD like, um, and I guess in that sense it's a very unique stage. Uh, it it's like the it's like a unique stage for colors in that sense. So I do like that, and I will say this: it is very pretty just seeing this in HD and all that, and reimagined and. I do like this opening sequence where you're going on the trees and the, the it's the more greenery section and all that. Like this is really good. I, I like the platforming here. Very solid stuff. Um, and these enemies, since it's the, this is the last level, they make these enemies a lot more deadly than they were in colors because they actually throw the uh, pickaxes at you um, as opposed to not <laughs> in colors. So. They're definitely one of the more deadly enemies in the game. Um, so yeah, I do like all that. 
the remix is fine. I, I do like the, the purple liquid down there. That's really pretty. Um, yeah, the, the remix is fine, but it doesn't really do much different. Um, that was close. Um, and yeah, I mean, half the level is okay. And okay, I, I'm not going to say the issue is just the fact that like you go halfway through the stage and you go into a, the, the factory se uh, section and that's the reason why it goes downhill. No, the, that's not really the issue. The issue is that once you go into the factory, the level design itself just kind of becomes less interesting because like one of the one of the things I praised about colors is that um, the color powers were for the most part optional. You, you didn't have they were really uh, like really ever forced on you on you in that game. Uh, oh good. <laughs> uh, they were really ever forced on you in that game. And you only need to do use them if you wanted to find different op like optional routes and explore the stages more, which is up to the player, which I like. But with this, um, you're basically forced to do. Um, you're, you're basically forced to only use the Rocket Wisp because both Classic and Modern Sonic only use one color power. So Modern has the Rocket and Classic has the S Spike Wisp, and. That wouldn't be so bad if um, if uh, the uh, Rocket Wisp wasn't forced on you constantly. It's mainly this last section that's the issue. That section that we just had was was uh, not too bad, but this climbing section is really the bigger offender because I usually really like the like climbing sequences like this in games, especially platformers. But this game is oh, this level is so repetitive with how it does it because you go through like these uh, minecart sequences and then you go and then you have to use a rocket and then you have to use a rocket again you go on a minecart rocket it, it's like so repetitive like it's mainly this last bulk of the stage that brings it down so much i don't hate it necessarily but it's definitely the uh one of the weakest stages in the game um and i feel like I feel like it would have been str a lot stronger if, like, this ending sequence was more interesting. It had more things going on. Because the there was a climbing, ta like, tower level in Colors' Planet Wisp. But I feel like that level is so much more interesting than this. Because you, you have all the different pathways. You had the, the different uh, stuff you could do with the color powers and find different routes. Um, it didn't repeat level design constantly. So there was always something... Uh, fun going on that uh, didn't become redu redundant and like again just repeating itself over and over and it the levels didn't like drag out because I feel like one of the issues here is that because how colors works is that it had six acts per zone for this game I feel like they try to uh, put all six try and like combine all six acts into one and all you really get from that is just a really over bloated uh, level that is just it's kind of just too long and usually I don't mind I don't typically mind long levels but that's when I enjoy like playing through them um, like when the level is like just kind of it if a level's long um, I feel like it's good if I don't realize it's super long because Okay, so an example is that when I play through Project 06 levels, some of those can take up to like seven to eight minutes, which is a little bit longer than this very like this very stage. The difference, though, is that uh, those levels are so fun to play, and I well, I want those stages to go on longer, <laughs> if anything. But this stage is is uh, the longest level in the game, but it's also one of the worst stages in the game. So it's not really a good mix. So basically what I'm saying is, I don't mind how long a stage is as long as I'm having a lot of fun with it and it's giving me a lot of cool mechanics and stuff to play around with and, and it's, it's just engaging in some 
sense like that. And uh, again, while I like a good chunk of this stage, um, it kind of falls apart towards the end, but... But, yeah. And now we have the classic, cl uh, classic variation. Which I'm... I'm not entirely sure how to feel about this one. I mean, first off, the... I... The remix is... Interesting. <laughs> let's say. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to feel about this remix. It sounds... I have had the comment of like it sounds kind of like a bad future variant uh, variant of the main of the Planet Wisp theme, which I guess I can kind of buy that. But I know I probably say that I, I don't know, man. Like Planet Wisp in this game is just really weird. It's definitely nowhere near as uh, strong as the version in Colors. Um, but I mean, this this level's fine. I I I think the main issue is that. It doesn't really feel like a final stage at all, because, uh, like, after this, there's no special final level uh, or anything like that. It's just right to the final boss. And I I really don't think Planet Wisp really fits as the, the final stage of the game. Um, but, yeah. It's, I, I, I probably would say that I like this more than the, the modern version. But it's still not great. <laughs> they at least do more interesting things with the with the wisp power because like you had to activate like these uh, switches and all that, and the spin dash like charging up the spin dash with the spike wisp actually makes you faster on unlike in the un uh, there unlike in colors. So I guess there's that. I don't I don't know really I, I don't know which one I prefer. Um, like modern or classic Planet Wisp, but both of these are definitely the weakest, like the weakest stage in some of the weakest stages in the game, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I, I, my choices for colors definitely would be like either Aquarium Park or Asteroid Coaster, because one, uh, this game doesn't have like any water levels outside. I mean, I guess outside of like classic. Um, Seaside Hill, um, but like, Aquarium Park is such a cool level, um, but it would, it would be either that or, uh, Asteroid Coaster, just, just because that's such an, such a cool, um, concept for a level, and if the, if they had to have, like, Color Speed a final stage, I think Asteroid Coaster would make a lot more sense, so, yeah, that, that would have been, those would have, would have been my perks. And, uh, yeah, and the, again, with the, the remixes here, like, the, some of the weaker remixes, remixes in this game, if I'll be honest, too. It's kind of disappointing how this, this era starts off really, really strong with Crisis City and, and the Rooftop Run. And then it kind of just whimpers out, like, it kind of just, like, like, it just ends on a, a bit of a whimper, which is, which is unfortunate, because I, it, I really, I do really like colors, and uh, it's unfortunate that it didn't get the best treatment in this game. Um, like the level design is like kind of hit and miss, and the uh, stage choice itself is questionable. <laughs> like I, I get it, I, I, I under like it's one of the more popular stages from Colors, which is like, like I guess I should have mentioned this earlier, but. The way these stages were chosen was like, I think it was like a fan poll or something where like they asked fans, what are your favorite stages from like the series? And that, that poll was the determining factor of what like what got picked, which I guess made sense. But I feel like they probably should have looked back and like looked back at the choices and like wondered like if some of these stages like like, like realized if some of them were really the right ones, the right ones to pick. 
But yeah. God, imagining a asteroid coaster level in Generations. Like, that would have been so cool, dude. I like how the music just got cut in half. <laughs> That's your concern. Oh, green forest. Nice. Alright, and now to do the final era of the game. Or the final... Uh, missions for the last... Y you know what I mean. <laughs> do, do, do. You wanna not do that? You wanna not do that? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this one. I love it when you can put such unfitting music uh, for some of these. <laughs> this, God, this doesn't fit Crisis City whatsoever. Alright, so I had to press triangle again. Yeah. Oh, this, okay, this is a remix. So, yep. Some of the... <clears throat> okay. Some of the um, f songs you unlock um, are, like, remixes among... Um, in and of themselves. Like, the Toxic Caves one was a remix as, um, as well. And this is also a different remix com ca compared to the... Actual Mushroom Hill stage that was in Gen's 3DS, so how about that? I guess just bringing up Gen's 3DS. Um, I don't have too much to say about that game, so I definitely haven't... I don't really have much of a reason to do an LP of it, but I guess um, to talk about the stage choices for that. Um, it starts off with just Green Hill, so no, no difference there, but it does have... Uh, it, 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 okay, so it does Casino Night, um, whatchamacallit, oh, 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 okay, <laughs> easy now, um, what's the third stage? I'm completely, completely, oh, no, no, Mushroom, okay, I'm stupid, <laughs> I was just talking about this, it has a Casino Night and a Mushroom Hill, and then for the Dreamcast and the Modern Era, oh, good, um, it, like, only has two stages for them, um, and that kind of, Screams, a uh, rushed game to me. Um, but yeah, there's a uh, Emerald Coast and Radical Highway, and for Dreamcast, and then, uh, what should we call it? And then there's uh, Water Palace and Tropical Resort for the Modern Era, and I think the original plan, the the original plan for Gen's 3DS was to have, um the stages be based on the handheld entries, but I guess because the game was rushed or something happened, they made it just, a lot of the stages are just different, like, level picks from the, the games that were 
uh, in like console generations. So I I uh, I don't know. Gen 3DS is just weird. So I want to get this. <laughs> eh. All right. Okay, so I'll do the blaze one. This fits pretty well. Okay, it's de definitely not a forest, but um, this song still fits. This this is a cool one. Like, keeps you on the move and uh, had to be aware of like your button presses and uh, timing it, timing it correctly. Yeah. Oh god. Yay, fail! Alright. I don't think I've ever been down here before. Oh my god. Why do I suck at game? Alright. Alright. But I, I can't really say too much about uh, the like stage choices or or like games I'd actually put into Gen's 3DS to get like featured because uh, I'll be honest I don't have much experience with a lot of the handheld entries. The only ones I okay I played I played Colors Colors DS, Gen's 3DS, and uh, Lost World. But beyond that, I haven't I haven't really played the. Advanced Trilogy. I haven't played Rush or Rush Adventure. Um, I haven't played Battle. Um, uh, I mean, okay, I, I've dabbled in some of these games, but I don't really count it because um, I've either like tested like one level to make sure like some of these work for like running an emulator, or I for Sonic Battle, for instance. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm supposed to fight. So I don't know why I thought I could just jump into the Emerald. Um, but yeah, uh, Sonic Battle, I remember playing that um, at a friend's house um, a long, a long, long time ago. But it was for... I, I, I barely remember anything about, anything about that experience. So I may as well have not played it. Um... I mean, I just kind of remember us getting stuck in a knuckles fight, and that and that that was kind of it. <laughs> um, I I'm not even sure. I, well, I don't even remember if I was the one even playing the game. So, yeah, like these are games I I like I know bits and pieces about, but I don't have any real like experience myself. So I can't really comment about um what would, what would be good ch level choices to pick from those games. So. I'll leave that up to the people who actually ex have uh, experience with those games. But yeah, Gen Gen's 3DS is okay, but it's it's kind of a game that just exists. Like you, you kind of just play it, and it's like okay, I it was it was fun enough, but the level design wasn't the greatest, and it's just kind of there. Uh, that's basically Gen's 3DS in a nutshell. But anyways, moving past that, uh, this is one of the best, also one of the best fights in the game. Like, Silver had a massive glow up compared to his 06 encounter, which is hilariously stupid. But, um, yeah, he sends you all these different, like, uh, projectiles and whatnot at you, and you have to, um, uh, home attack, like, all these different objects to uh, actually attack him. 
and yeah, it's just, I I just th this is definitely the best rival fight in the game because uh, the Metal Sonic fight was fine, but it's really short and uh, not super spectacular. Um, the Shadow fight I think again works as being a race, but this I I I just. I, I love the, uh, the the silver fight here, like, you, you're you constantly put on your toes, you have to have quick reactions to actually hit him, uh, like this. Oh my god. Unless you're going up a hill. <laughs> um, and, like, he has all these different moves being chucked at you, and um, the music as well. I, I don't know if I like this theme as much as the, the uh, character battle theme in 06, but this is still really good. And then he ends with this meteor smash. It's a very akin to his, uh, to how he um, sent a massive uh, uh, boulder back at Iblis at the end of his story. But, yeah. And we just killed Silver. <laughs> But yeah, that's a, a really good boss. I, I really like the silver fight. <laughs> 